Hi everybody. So this will be a little bit different video than what's been on this channel before. Um, actually, it's been a long time since I posted a video on this channel. So you may be coming across this from the uh, web comics site. If so, you might have noticed uh, the past couple or so posts I've made of the comics have actually been more along the lines of action figure photography. So with that in mind, I um, recently purchased a diorama or diorama elements from on Big Bad Toy Store, which I'll link them. So I um, <clears throat> bought this thing and clearly I didn't read the description very well. I just thought it was cool looking and it was inexpensive, so I bought it. So anyway, it shows up and it's just printouts. So here's instructions and buying some printouts <clears throat> that you are to basically put on something sturdy, foam core or cardboard or something and so they could stand up. Uh, so I wanted to get a diorama so I can have some different backgrounds in the, in the pictures because I want to take more of these action figure pictures. I'm kind of going I feel like I want to make some more comic-y type stuff with these pictures, but regardless, I'm just having fun. Anyway, I was a little bummed when I realized I couldn't just take it out of the box and unfold it and start snapping away. But I did know that I had down here some foam core or foam board. These are some old school projects. So I'm just going to either take this stuff off and recycle this or maybe just flip it around the back. Um, we'll see how deep I go with this. So my options are either to cut these to shape or cut these to size. <clears throat> so the diorama pieces will fit on here nice and well. Or my other option is just to leave them the same size and just adhere the diorama pieces uh, so they will fit on there and then line up the images so this exterior stuff isn't captured. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slap this together and then I'll come back with an update on how it went and you know take some pictures and see where it all goes. So by the way tools I have to use for this this recommends either scissors or uh, exacto knife or whatever. So I do have an exacto knife I also have, it's not a good size, but a self-healing cutting mat. I have a larger one around here somewhere if I need it. But I also happen to have a, oh, it's hard to, a pretty decent sized paper cutter. So I have everything I need to make these little cuts. Thing is, and this is always difficult for me when I had to do stuff like this for uh, college and, uh, some previous jobs, <clears throat> but I had to trim off all this little bit of white. So uh, these are the only copies I have, so I hope I don't go off the trim. So I'm gonna do my best. All right, after a bit of cutting, I have the edges trimmed. I decided just to leave the, uh, not to cut the foam core yet. I may do it at some point but I kind of want to get to the picture taking part of things. And I, uh, maybe I'll trim this down at some other point. Uh, so here's one wall. That one turned out pretty well. Another one, I feel like that one also turned out pretty well. I just attached it to the foam core with uh, double-sided tape so I could take it off later. Maybe I want to use it for something else or maybe I get some more of these in a different design and I can just keep uh, attaching them to the same piece. I don't know. I probably get pretty gummed up with <laughs> double-sided tape after a while. The third piece, the floor, I did kind of have a little bit of trouble down here, um, but it is what it is probably fine all right so for our little photo shoot I have some G.I. Joe classified six inch figures I'm going to use 
Snake Eyes, the ninja version, or not, well, the, uh, not the Commando version, but the, uh, the, uh, regular release, I guess, which I like that version. I heard some folks don't like some of the details, but I, I dig them. I have uh, Scarlet and the Baroness from the G.I. Joe origin Snake Eyes movie, though I've never seen the movie, but I think the figures are pretty cool. I like this uh, version of Scarlet. Uh, and this is a good, oh, dropped her little silencer here, but this is a good version of Baroness, I think, but I just don't like how her face doesn't really look that much like the regular Baroness from the old toys and the TV shows. But I like the outfit and I like the accessories and I thought that this figure had pretty good articulation. So anyway, this isn't a review of these. <laughs> I can't help myself sometimes. And I'm going to use Profit Director Destro, which I like to call Pimp Daddy Destro because look at him. Uh, also, I think this is a pretty cool figure. Okay, so I borrowed these guys from my shelf upstairs for my little photo shoot down here in the little studio. Okay, up next, pictures. I think I got some okay shots. You can see my diorama with figures in the background here. I'm gonna go edit some photos and that'll be it. All right, I hope you like this video. Um, I don't know what I'm doing on this channel. I might make more stuff like this. I might make more stuff about drawing, who knows? Or maybe I won't make anything else ever again. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure I'll do something. So subscribe and find out. All right. Have a good one.